Greetings everyone. Let me start with unusual announcement this time. For quite some time I am posting elite images on Instagram and I would like to propose this channel for your attention. About a month ago I start adding textual stories under the images and those stories written in the style of a logbook of an adventure rather than just draft numbers etc. And uh, for those who don't have Instagram installed, I also have a copy at Inara Logbook Storages. Welcome here, here as well. I was wondering which type of video this should be. Yes, I can take a snapshot of um, different biological stuff, beautiful scents and uh, such. But similar content you may already find on my previous videos. Yes, I got few new samples, but these discoveries doesn't really deserve a separate, separate video. While I'm uh, talking, you may see an episode where I'm trying to find an alioida plants at the mountains. You may notice head loop moves. This is Toby V5 device. Toby is a head and eye tracker system, but uh, device required by very personalized tuning for good results achieved. So, this time I decided to tell you about my ship, and uh, this time I chose the Viper MK4. And at first glance, that might be a strange choice for the explorer. But uh, let me share with you more details. Firstly, this ship have very teeny dimensions, only 30 meters long and 25 meters wide, which is one third shorter than Diamondback Explorer. Landing gear zone even smaller than that, and uh, this allow you to land this ship almost everywhere on the planet. Yet uh, there wasn't a case that I unable to find a landing spot near enough for a couple jumps on foot from the point I need. Secondly, uh, at the same time, uh, ship is big enough to handle minimum necessary models for exploration. Because I'm in love with uh, Super Cruise Assistant, I not installed here IFM model, but everything else is there. Obviously, this uh, ship have uh, weak side. Uh, the first weakness is yaw agility. When you try to turn your ship uh, against the vertical axis, uh, you will be very surprised, but it doesn't want to do this. Even with grade 5 dirty engines not help much with that. Instead, this improvement made my ship insanely agile on pitch and roll axis. Because of that, uh, once I almost crashed my ship, um, how it was when I started the engines, uh, but my miles wasn't in natural position, and the ship immediately rolled and I got serious damage from the mountains around. Second weakness, uh, for those who decide to use the ship on long uh, range expeditions, it has very short jump size. With double engineered FSD drive uh, and 4A engines uh, engineered, I was able to make it jump only to 50 light years. And, uh, and last uh, minus of this ship. As you may see from the video, a uh, view from the cabin is very limited. On the left and right side, you almost not see at all. And partially, it's blocked on the top of the cabin. In addition to that, informative windows from the GUI um, user interface is blocking cabin view. Um, and I had to switch off uh, GUI while searching uh, for Dodge biological sample. Uh, on any other ship before, I don't pay attention to the GUI issues, and only here it become visible issue for me. So it's time to do the summary. Ship is good for the biological task at the planet with complex landscape, but there are at least few ships I prefer to use for this task. As pure long journey exploration vessel, it doesn't really good because number of models, uh, number of slots, 
and for, for the models is really low. Nevertheless, I'm almost months using this ship. I yet not crashed. I collected many biological data. I know I don't know how much jumps I did already and I'm heading back to bubble now, but not with maximum speed as it was with ISP Explorer. Uh, to quickly switch the ship now. Yeah, I doing this slowly, visiting different other nebulas near the road. Strange, but knowing all about gaps, I like it. <laughs>